Okay guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Ricky and I'm going to show you guys today how to root the Google Pixel 4a 5G. Okay, uh, before we start though, I got to give a disclaimer. Make sure you guys understand this is at your own risk. You can possibly break your phone and you will void your manufacturer's warranty by doing any of these steps. Okay, so now that you know that, we can begin. Uh, what we'll need is a uh, Pixel 4a 5G, of course, a Windows PC. You can use Mac or Linux if you know how to use the terminal commands on those uh, systems. Uh, you need minimal ADB, fast boot, platform tools, folder. Uh, you're gonna need to know your build number of your Pixel 4a 5G, and you need a Pixel 4a 5G stock factory image, Magic Manager APK, and Termix APK. What we're gonna do is we head over to our Pixel 4a 5G, go into the settings, scroll down to about phone, click on that, scroll all the way down to see build number. We're gonna need this number, so write this number down somewhere. The RD1A 2810.022.84. If you're from a different region, yours might be a different build number. Uh, write that down, and then we want to. Repeatedly click on build number until it says you are now a developer. Now that we have opened up the developer's option, you go back and you go into systems and open it advanced and go into the developer's option. You want to make sure OEM unlocking is uh, enabled. So you want to enable it like that and allow OEM unlocking. Click enable and USB debugging. Click OK. Now you want to boot into fast boot mode to unlock the bootloader. How you do that is to restart your phone and hold down the volume down button before it turns back on. And you'll go into this screen here, it's a fast boot mode screen. Uh, you can see next to the device stat, it says locked in yellow, which means your bootloader is locked. What we want to do is turn that into unlocked in red, okay? Now head over to your PC, uh, download and install minimal ADB and fast boot. All the links are in the description below. So click on that link. Scroll down on this website and download and install right here. Okay, you click here to download. And then you scroll down a little bit, you click here to start download. Then you click primary download. And save it somewhere you remember. I already have it, so I don't need to save it anymore. Uh, I installed it already. So you want to save it and install it, okay? Now you want to download the platform tools folder. So you go into the link in the description here. Uh, you scroll down a little bit till you see download SDK platform tools for Windows. You click on that. You click agree to the terms and condition and you click download the SDK platform tools. Save it and save it somewhere where you remember. And we want to open where you saved it at. And you want to extract this platform tools folders here, which I already have here. Now we want to go over to the Pixel 4a 5G stock factory image website to download our stock factory image or ROM, whatever you want to call it. Click the link in the description. Uh, and then you scroll down until you see, well, not this one, that's Pixel 5, Brambo for Pixel 4a 5G, okay? You want to scroll down to you see your build number. So this is my build number here. And you want to click link. Do not click flash. Click on link to download. I already have it here. Now the stock factory image that you just download will be in a zip file. So you want to open up the zip file. Let's track this folder to where you can remember it. Open this folder and open the, wait, I'm sorry. Open this folder like this. Then open the image Brambo zip file here and you want to extract this boot IMG here which I have already right here. Uh, you want to open up command prompt on your Windows PC by going to the search right here and type in CMD and hit enter and in the command prompt type in CD space and you take your platform tools folder drag and drop it into the command prompt and hit enter in the command prompt. Now we're going to unlock the bootloader. So you want to type in 
Fast boot, space flashing, space unlock. There you go. And then hit enter. And over your pixel phone will say right here, do not lock the bootloader. What you want to do is hit the volume down button once until it reads unlock the bootloader and then press the power button. Now this will reset your whole phone. So make sure you save all your data if you haven't done so already. Now you want to go over to the download the Magic Manager APK and move it over to your PC 4A 5G, okay? Also the Terminus APK as well. So you go in the link in the description to download those. Save to somewhere you remember. The Magic Manager APK will read as an app slash debug apk file save that to where you can remember and then go to Termix apk website and download that click on download right here save it to where you can remember i have it right here and on your pixel 4a 5g it will read unlock right here if you can see device state unlocked device state unlocked which uh, now your bootloader is unlocked so you want to hit start now uh, you hit the power button now to restart your uh, your phone and this this new screen will show up saying it's a warning your bootloader is unlocked and software integrity cannot be guaranteed so it's just a warning sign they have your phone is going to reset to factory settings every time you lock and unlock your bootloader it resets to factory setting so remember to um, save all your data, okay? So finish up the initial setup on your Pixel 4a 5G. Now that your phone's set up, you want to go into uh, change the device via USB settings to file transfer and go over to your PC and you want to open up the internal storage of your Pixel 4a 5G go into the downloads folder and move the app debug APK over which is the Magic Manager app and also the Termix app and one more step you gotta do is you wanna open up the the factory ROM zip or the boot IMG that we uh, extracted earlier and bring it over to here too, copy over here now we can turn off file transfer and over our pixel 4a 5g open up the file manager go into the downloads folder install termux you might have to go into settings and allow from the source click install done go back to the download folder uh, download, I mean, install the Magic Manager app. Click install and open this up. Make sure you're signed up into the internet. Let me do that real quick. Go back to Magic Manager. Next to Magic, click install. Click on select and patch a file. And we're going to select the boot IMG that we moved over from our PC. And then we click let's go right there wait until it finishes it'll say all done when it's done and we want to go into our file manager now magic manager has created a file called magic under patch.img what we want to do is move that file over to our PC and to do that we gotta turn on USB to file transfer okay go over to our PC and look for the pixel 4 5 g drive go into internal storage click on download and move the magic patch IMG over to your PC I have one here already now we want to restart our pixel into uh, bootloader mode or fast boot mode by 
restarting it and holding down the volume down button. Now that is restarted into fast boot mode, we go over to our PC, open up our command prompt here by typing cmd at the bottom there. Now type in cd in the command prompt and take the platform tools folder and drag and drop it into the command prompt and hit enter in the command prompt. Now you want to type in fast boot space flash space boot space and do not hit enter yet, you want to take the magic patch IMG and bring it over to the command prompt like this. And now you can hit enter. Make sure sending boot A is okay, writing boot A is okay. And now we have rooted our Pixel 4A 5G. So we want to click on the power button when it says start right here. If it doesn't say start, you can move up and down the volume button until it says start. Let that load up. Okay, when your Pixel 4A 5G restarts, you want to go into the Magic Manager app. And underneath Check Safety Net, it will say Uninstall Magic. Don't click it, but that what that means is your phone is now rooted. Okay? And what well, another step we need to do is to um, pass Safety Net Check, okay? What Safety Net Check is, it is Google's uh, security. Um, it hides, like Safety Net hides a lot of programs in the Google App Store, the Google Play Store, from rooted phones. It also doesn't let you to use uh, like paying apps like Google Pay if you're in a rooted phone. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna bypass that, okay? So what we're gonna do first is check safety net, uh, download priority code. See, so safe, safe net fail, att attestation failed. What we wanna do is we want this to change to success, okay? So you want to go back out of safety net. You want to go in the Magic Manager app and go into the gear icon up here in the top right. Click on the gear icon. Scroll down until you see Magic Hide right here. Enable that. And right, right above that it says Hide Magic Manager. Click on that. And what we're going to do is we're going to change the name of Magic Manager. I'm going to change it to M Manager. And it's gonna change the name of Magic Manager so Google doesn't pick it up, okay? Click OK. Add shortcut to home, cancel. I don't need to add the shortcut. I can exit out of this. And you open up the, the file, the app drawer. Now, Magic Manager app has changed to M Manager. This uh, Android head, blue Android head icon here. We want to go back into that and we want to go down to the shield icon here and we want to go into magic hide here and we want to open up Google Play services and make sure all these are enable 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 if you have Google Pay app or a pay a paying app it'll show up here and you want to make sure this check checked on okay and go back one and you want to hit this uh, puzzle piece icon here at the bottom right and hit the search icon and in the search field type in magics m a g i s k and you want to go to magic high props config and you want to install this once installed you can reboot here what we need to do now is go into the Termix, the Termix file, I mean the Termix application. Type in SU to grant it super user access. Click on grant. Now type in P R O P S and hit enter. Uh, type in 2 for force basic key attestation and press enter. Now you want to type in D to pick from device list and hit enter. Now you want to type in 7 to choose Google and hit enter. Now you want to type in 20 20 to choose Google Pixel 3a. What we are doing is we're mimicking 
Google Pixel 3a's uh, attestation, which is gonna make Google safety net think we're on Pixel 3a. So now you want to type in Y for yes and hit enter. Y for yes one more time and hit enter. Now let your phone boot back up. Now go back into the Magic Manager or M Manager here. And click on Check Safety Net again. Success. We did it. We passed the Safety Net, which means you go to Google Play, Google Play Store and uh, download um, apps that you normally wouldn't see on a rooted device. And also, you could be able to use the Google Pay service, uh, Google Pay app as well. Okay. Well, I hope this tutorial helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please uh, comment down below what do you guys think. Uh, try this out. Uh, hit the like or dislike. Uh, share this video and uh, subscribe to my channel. And hit the bell notification to get notified when I come out with new videos. Okay, guys. Thank you guys so much. And you guys have a good one.